This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye. Morning. How you doing? What's good? I'm good. I had a very restful weekend, so I'm good. Same here, same mm. here. You can Are tell, you sure right? Ife? I don't look restful. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 I don't trust you. There must be a turn up somewhere. No, there was a bit of turn up, but in our turn up. No, the truth is coming yeah, out. Yeah, in our yeah, turn up, like, nothing really. Turn up mm. Friday, Saturday. So party okay. after party. No. Uh -huh. No resting. Nah, you I'm not. doing my own dirty mm. January. Okay, so because we have a guest, let's just rush quick into the main story. Mm. And um, Harry and Meghan begins new life after royal splits. Queen Elizabeth and um, the Buckingham, Buckingham Palace issued a new statement on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's future roles. Um, three things you need to know are, one, the couple will no longer use his um, HRH titles. Secondly, they will no longer represent the Queen formally and will not receive public funds. And finally, they will repay the sovereign grants for the renovation of Frogmore Cottage, which will remain their home in the UK. Prince Harry also gave a heartwarming speech at a dinner in London where he reiterated that the decision to step back, unfortunately, became the only option. Mm. Mm. For me, I'm just telling them good luck. I wish them all the best. Mm. I mean, people have opinions. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's not anybody's business, really. But from that speech he gave at the dinner, I think that was from yesterday, it felt like there was a whole lot going on in the royal family that, of course, we don't know about. So mm. because of that, I think everybody should just wish them well and let them enjoy this newfound love or newfound life, I don't know. I mean, even if you don't wish them well, that's your business <laughs> because it does not affect them in any way. Mm -hmm. This is their decision, this is their life, and this is what they want. Harry wants a family's privacy. If that's what he wants and the queen is ready to give it to him, I mean, it's nobody's business to get involved. Mm -hmm. I just wish them good luck too. Obviously, we can't undermine the fact that um, these are uh, things that haven't happened in the royal family before. Mm -hmm. Now, this, there's no precedent to anybody losing their title as ease, ease or royal highness mm -hmm. ever in the history of royalty. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is new. So obviously, the royals are not happy about this. Yeah, Even when um, Diana was deemed to be the black sheep and mm -hmm. all of that, she still didn't lose all that title. So it's, they said he has some money. He's going to be paying about um, 2.4 million pounds mm -hmm. back for the renovation of the frog miles that's a lot of money now a lot of people will be wondering for a guy who has never worked a day in his life or don't let us say he hasn't worked because he served in afghanistan mm -hmm. in afghanistan and um he was stripped up of all his military titles as well so this is very this is, everybody might say good luck like it's really easy but let us be realistic they're humans it's going to be a difficult period for them and yeah we can i'm very sure i mean for him. <laughs> i was going to, out to i'm sure I mean, he was choice, very so prepared yeah. It was very. Yeah. He knows but that we have to look at all the options like, as, yeah, as well you. because everybody's just saying, "Oh, good luck, they will be fine." If they do they, well, they, they yeah, looked good. at the options themselves and they, and they decided the one that no, they want. I just want. think some of these rules are a bit harsh, and I think it's just no. a lesson for I, okay. other people that want to tow their line. Well, I think his life will be a lesson because he will now start the <laughs> journey. Know. This has never happened before, so maybe we'll talk about this more in the next episode. Yeah. Um, it's time for a quick break, but before that, here is something for yogurt lovers. Pinkberry Gourmet has got you covered this week with their healthy frozen yogurt. There are various flavors to choose from, and you can be um, sure that each cup is just a delight. Head over to any Pinkberry Gourmet frozen yogurt store near you and be a part of their mouth watering offers. You'll get to find out who our guest is right after this break. Mm -hmm. 